हेलो हेलो एम एट ऑफ टू सुबू ही यस मैम या हाय भानु हियर फ्रॉम चार जेमिनी योर इंटरव्यू वाज शेड्यूल्ड फॉर नाउ ओ या गुड इवनिंग मैम या या हाय गुड इवनिंग हाय सो या कैन यू ब्रीफ मी अबाउट योर एक्सपीरियंसेस इन यूआई डेवलपमेंट दैट्स मेजरली इंक्लूडिंग रिएक्ट एंड व्हाट्स योर आई मीन व्हाट्स योर performing areas on which you are working in a current uh, project or what exactly you have been working on okay okay so shall we start yeah ma'am yeah 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 go ahead okay okay uh, ma'am total i have a 1.11 uh, uh, experience in react js i have a 2 year experience i have and i have done three projects in react js and in last company uh, in current company i have done two projects so first project my is a phase army and air force uh, project it is for return process when we purchase any online uh, items na online products so it uh, return process so i have done previous uh, this in the return process if you want to purchase any products from online so you can okay. uh, return the pro product so there are uh, two ways for returning if you want to uh, you go uh, to the store and or you can uh, return your online product so uh, let's cris this one thing let's cris this i mean what i mean is uh, on your project what exactly your working areas i mean by coding what exactly you perform yes, on react uh, yes. yeah in so. react i have done uh, first material ui Okay. Uh, some accordion I have done, and some uh, button switch button I have done almost, and some pagination also I have worked in Material UI using. Okay. Yeah, and uh, some UX part also I have done. UX as in you design or you design perform? Design part, yeah. Some few design parts also I have done. And okay. Uh, using using material UI. Using which? I mean Material UI. Okay. Yeah, Material UI. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah. Or Which version of the app you are working on? Uh, we are uh, in our project. We are using in hooks, sixteen point eight. Okay. And have, do you have an experience on fifteen as well? Fifteen. Yeah. No, ma'am. I didn't work fifteen. Okay. You have experience. I mean, for the last two years, you have. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. And. Uh, in this project uh, there are uh, some login page when any user can login then go to the order detail page and uh, so in order detail page there are uh, some multiple text boxes so you can uh, any user uh, can search or admin can search by order id phone number and name so in these are the okay. text box also designed by material ui and uh, when do you uh, have an experience on fluent ui Which UI? Fluent. Fluent UI, no ma'am. Okay, only material you have. I mean that was mentioned in your resume, uh, but then I wanted to know if you know about it or not, frankly. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, and uh, for responsiveness, you have mentioned Bootstrap, right? Yes, Bootstrap. I am using Grid for some uh, designing purpose, like a button. Yeah, okay. Grid. I am um, using. Hmm. Only grid. That's it. Yes, grid. Actually, whole project is based on Material UI, ma'am. So nothing for using more CSS. Only through some CSS we are using, and Bootstrap only for using grid, grid purpose. Okay. Material UI doesn't provide grid. Sorry. Material UI does not provide it. The grids. Grids. Yeah, it isn't there in Material UI. Uh, no, this is a uh, okay. bootstrap. Yeah. Okay, going ahead. Okay, uh, so if I come on, uh, I mean, what exactly when you design a page? So mm. what's your key responsibility? I mean, what do you code on that? I mean, how do you communicate with the backend and other stuffs? I mean, or yeah, you just end. work on the UX? Uh, one second. Is, or you just work on the UX? I mean, designing and creating the HTML. I, mean, I would say a page which is there, prototype for it. Or you work with the backend and calling the APIs also. Yes, I worked with you uh, backend for backend for microservice. So I worked with backend because our project based on uh, server side rendering. 
so not a client side rendering so they giving uh, some api so i just handle only the api okay you get the i mean you call the api using yeah, I which call the api uh, using what uh, for what is, the, what is the middleware for it uh exios we are using a exios exios no redux yeah Okay. You are only yeah. calling XBOs call. That's it. Yes. No, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got it. And uh, so uh, let's start with your. I mean, uh, with the question. I mean, I have on React to know what exactly knowledge do you work and what okay. you have on that. Okay. So let's start with the basic question. So what's the difference difference between state and props? Yes, state and props. Uh, props are mainly used for uh, when we, uh, we are come uh, share any uh, transfer any data from parent to child. So that time we are using a props uh, in a class component and a functional component. When when we are using a functional component, so we are we are using uh, directly uh, props dot or any variable name what you given. But in class component, this dot uh, props dot name so uh, these are the props and props is uh, we can't change any value this is only um, transfer the data from one component to another component but when we are using a state so state uh, use only for class component so if you want to change any uh, uh, any data or any uh, so then we are using a state so set state we are using and then change the uh, a change the data in a class component, but in functional component there is no any feature in state. So that time we are using a hooks is a 16.8 version in React. So this is a use state we are using in hooks. If you want to change any state, so we can use a uh, in functional component. So we can use use state. Okay. So uh, what I mean, what new uh, I mean, what else? Is there in hooks only? Uh, is it only use state or something else is also there? Yes, use state for changing the state and use effect, use reducer, use context. So these are the uh, main main features in hooks. So can you explain me that? Uh, what is use memo? Yes, use memo just like a pure uh, a pure component. So if uh, avoid a re-rendering the component, unwanted component re-rendering is just avoid the re-render for is example it? i thought that is higher order component higher order component is different and memo is uh, different memo is just uh, avoid the re-rendering the component if you uh, uh, if you change um, if any element has in dom uh, any change the element that time is rendered otherwise uh, no necessary unwanted component is rendered so this is a now you are coming i mean basic thing was uh, that if a state changes yes i mean you you actually store the uh, current state into that yes if a state you, change at that time the component yeah. is rendered yeah i mean what you answered it was for higher order component but it's okay mm, higher uh, order uh, component is uh, just okay it's a different yeah go ahead yeah. tell me what it is a higher order component ma'am is just to remove the duplicacy of the functionality because there are three components a b c and a functionality is same is in the b and b is also use the same functionality so here is a, a main performance also is uh, bad performance and memory also has uh, is impact for memory so that time we are using a hoc high order component high order component is just enhance the component and take the original component and return the new component just uh, hoc is just takes a function as an argument so we can use a hoc a js file and uh, same functionality we are using in hoc and only uh, share the hoc file in component a if for component a now the component a is become as an argument in hoc okay yeah so uh, what uh, i mean as you mentioned there are uh, pure component right so uh, we have a uh, function and class also right part function and class components also so what are they what is the major difference although you have explained a bit but then i want to know what exactly it is in a functional and class component yeah yeah functional component is a stateless component and class component is a stateful 
so these are the major difference in uh, functional and class component so have you worked with class components yes okay but you said you haven't worked with uh, react 15 no actually my uh, second project is based on not react 15 16.8 version okay yeah so okay. we are using in class component also okay so what are life cycle i mean life cycle methods in it life cycle method um, in react before 16.8 na uh, component should uh, component did mount uh it is render only one time when the component is rendered uh, that time uh, component date mount uh, life cycle is render only once time so any api if you want to call so we are using in component date mount and component date uh, sh- component should update uh, when state change so that time life uh, component should update life cycle as render and component okay. will unmount if you want to stop or uh, your component so that time we are using component will unmount life cycle okay what is a real dom and a virtual and what react supports yes react support actually a virtual dom and a real dom a virtual dom it is a copy of real dom uh, for example if you uh, want to change any element so in real dom there are uh, from it just read from parent to child uh, if uh, div a div b div b all the uh, element is just uh, read and render all the elements in a real dom so but in virtual dom if you uh, if you change any particular element so like a color or anything else so only particular mm-hmm. element is rendered so that is a difference Uh, main so virtual dom not a whole parent to child it is it is just to render those part of element where you want to change can you tell me where uh, an example of a website or application where it was used um virtual dom yeah mm. it's okay that's uh, facebook by the way that was the first one so how um, as you have mentioned you are not using a middleware which is as in uh, redux or something so how do you store your uh, states what when you change it where do you centralize it to get it done uh through the redux in the store you mentioned you are not u- using redux no in you second mentioned... project i worked in redux saga but this is a okay. uh, hmm. and in the current project you are not using so how do you manage that uh through the webpack mm. webpack is to no 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 mm. okay so ha- uh, when you were using in redux so how did you uh, communicate with the backend i mean with the uh, storage itself and where did you, how did you store it yes in main component our app component now we are import the uh, store and uh, with the help of provider now we are wrap up the uh, component and uh, if we uh, and then communicate with the component so we are using a connect method so connect method we are uh, take a function or method as an argument then we are connect uh, uh, a connect method for using communicate with the component and here uh, some reducer is used and some action so reducer is depend on the action type or payload so for example type is login so here uh, yeah. reducer is uh, use some switch or case so it is a login just go to the uh, login page so these are the redux okay so have you worked with flux flex no yeah okay so uh, why do we exactly use redux i mean my react js uh, um, apart from angular although angular is updated every day every single day we have uh, angular 9 also now so yeah, why are we switching on to mm-hmm. yeah react js no i didn't get your question ma'am uh, why do we prefer react i mean uh, when angular is already there yes angular and react is also because angular is every 6 month has to change their version and so right now i think angular 9 or some material ui also are using in yeah. angular 
yeah but in react version it is very uh, easy to learn and we can uh, also uh, if we can use our project very easily and in any communicate uh, one component to another component we can handle easily so that time we are using react js it is very easy to use for every developer okay as compared to angular okay so uh, you work with js uh, js uh, as well es6 you, you must be using right yes so what are the new features we are uh, getting in es6 es6 first of all uh, is a arrow function and there is no any overriding function and uh, class um, and encapsulation also and overloading there are some features in es6 and let and, and const yeah. also keyword okay uh, have you worked with map yes map so what uh, what is map it is just iterate the array iterate the array if you want to fetch any array so we can use for map method okay and Data. it returns hmm. what array 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 uh, is it the same array which you have passed no it's a new array it just written a new array what is the difference between for each and uh, map basically uh, map method for using uh, um, iterate a array and return a new array but for each also iterate the array uh, if you want uh, mm. okay never mind uh, have you worked with promises Do you know what is promises? Yes, ma'am. What it is? Ah, uh, promises just handle the uh, asynchronous uh, like uh, reject or resolve. If uh, uh, any, ah, uh, uh, we are using some API. If any API uh, is uh, success, then go to the uh, then method. and uh, success message will display and if there any api some fail just go to that uh, catch so here just uh, we are using some resolve or reject okay so okay how comfortable you are with html and css both ma'am i comfortable and how much you are comfortable okay so uh, if i ask you that uh, do you have an experience with ext js also which one ext ex uh, that extension ext no ma'am yeah. okay so uh, if we hire you how soon you can join us uh, ma'am after 20 days 20 days mm -hmm. are you serving a notice no ma'am not now and okay so why 20 days I mean, okay. You uh, you your notice is tw for twenty days, is it? No, officially one month, but it's negotiable twenty days. Okay, so the day will give you an offer. You can join within twenty days. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any question? Uh, no, ma'am. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for Thank your time. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you.